Hi, it's Mark from My College Timeline. And in this video, I'm going to show you some really cool tricks you can use in Google Calendar um, to help manage your time um, and uh, make sure that um, you're really managing your time well throughout your years in high school during your college prep journey. And if you do these things, it'll really bring down the stress level as you're getting, you know, going through high school and getting ready for college because you'll always know what it is you need to do and you won't be stressed out about a million other things. Um, so we're going to look at Google Calendar, um, and I'm going to show you how to set this up. Um, but before I do that, I want to sort of take a, a, the big picture view uh, and talk about a time management concept, um, which is important, and it's going to be incorporated in what I'm about to show you. And it's actually a concept from a book you may have heard of called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, uh, and then a follow-on book called First Things First. It was written by a guy named Stephen Covey a couple decades ago, but the, the principles in it are really uh, timeless. And one of the key concepts in this book um, is about big rocks. And I'm going to explain what big rocks are and why that's important in setting up your Google uh, Calendar. Um, so to explain what big rocks are, I found this slide deck which summarizes it uh, online by Song. Pong Yusun Torn, uh, and this just does a quick, a nice job of summarizing what big rocks are. Um, so let's just quickly go through this. Big rocks is a principle so simple and yet so profound it will completely change your life if you consistently practice it. The following idea was raised by Stephen Covey once he conducted his seminar. It continues to be a reminder to me of how to focus on the most important priorities of our lives. In the middle of a seminar on time management, recalls Covey in his book, First Things First, the lecturer said, okay, it's time for a quiz. Reaching under a table, he pulled out a wide-mouthed gallon jar and set it on the table next to a platter covered with fist-sized rocks. How many of these rocks do you think we can get in the jar? After the students made their guesses, the seminar leader said, okay, let's find out. He put one rock in the jar, then another, then another until no more rocks would fit. Then he asked, is the jar full? Everybody could see that not one more of the rocks would fit. Yes, not so fast. From under the table, he lifted out a bucket of gravel, dumped it in the jar, and shook it. The gravel slid into all the little spaces left by the big rocks. Then he asked, is the jar full? A little wiser by now, the students responded, probably not. Good. Then he reached under the table to bring up a bucket of sand. He started dumping the sand in the jar. While the students watched, the sand filled in the little spaces left by the rocks and gravel. Then he asked, is the jar full? Everyone shouted back, no. Good. Then he grabbed a pitcher of water and began to pour it into the jar. He got something like a quart of water into that jar before he said, ladies and gentlemen, the jar is now full. Can anybody tell me the lesson you can learn from this? What's my point? An eager, an eager participant spoke up. Well, there are gaps in your schedule, and if you really work at it, you can always fit more into your life. No, that's not the point. The point is this. If I hadn't put those big rocks in first, I would never have gotten them in. In both our business and personal lives, we have big rocks, gravel, sand, and water. The natural tendency seems to favor the latter three elements, leaving little space for the big rocks. In an effort to respond to the urgent, the important is sometimes set aside. Make a list of your big rocks. Then make a plan to ensure that your big rocks are put in first. Block out the time in your schedule for those activities. Amazingly, the other stuff still gets done. A large project, spending time with your family, your health. What are your big rocks in life? Obviously, what we're talking about here are the big rocks are, are getting into college and getting ready for college. Um, and I want to incorporate this concept of big rocks into your time management process, right? So let's say um, we're, we're, we've, we're using Google Calendar. And by the way, to use Google Calendar, obviously, it's free. You just go to calendar.google.com, um, and you, you, if you set up your free Google account if you haven't already. Um, and you've got your calendar here, and I, I want to go into month view. Because part of this concept is every week we look at the month ahead uh, and we look at what our big rocks are. So let's say it's June. And what are our big rocks? Well, maybe you've got your final exams the last week of June. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my big rocks into the calendar first. So let's say final exams are this week. I'm just going to add final exams, create event. And I can see those are my final exams. 
and another big rock leading up to my final exams. Maybe I want to be studying uh, for my finals for three weeks beforehand. So study for finals, study for finals, and study for finals. And so you can see I'm starting to put my big rocks in, and I know these are the main things I really need to be focused on. Um, so now let's get, let's say this is the week, um, this is this week right now, the Monday, June 30th. Now I want to go into the week view, and now that I've sort of got this big picture view, and I want to go into this week and look at what my goals are for this week. Now you can see right now it's blank, uh, but obviously everybody is very busy, and the calendar is not blank. So let's first put in what I call uh, time buckets um, for different things that are in your life. So for example, school is obviously a big thing in your life. So maybe school runs from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. So I'm gonna put a time bucket in there um, for school. And I want this, I wanna edit this event uh, because I want it to repeat every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And it's gonna never end, okay? So ends never. So now I'll save that. And you can see that I've put in this time bucket for school for every day. Now let's put in another one. Maybe I've got um, sports practice on, uh, let's say I have it on repeat Mondays and Wednesdays and Fridays. Okay, done and save. And maybe we like to have family dinner every night at 6 o'clock. So family dinner, edit event, and maybe I actually want that to be uh, every day. And click done. Save, back to the calendar. So you can see the calendar is starting to fill up. Um, and obviously, it's, it's going to be very busy for the aspiring college student. So maybe every weeknight from uh, 7 to 10, Maybe that's my study time. Edit the event. Repeat. And maybe I'm just going to do this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and maybe Friday night is time when I spend with my friends. So Friday night, social time. Okay. And you can see as the schedule starts to fill up, I can see where I'm really starting to prioritize, where uh, studying for finals, that's the big rock for this week, and I've got a bunch of time carved out for that. Um, and maybe I want to carve out, uh, you know, a full block of time, more studying time, study for finals. And I can see that the week is starting to come together nicely. I know exactly what I need to be doing each day, um, and I'm on, a, I'm on a nice tight schedule. And I can zoom back out into my month view, and I, I can still see my big rocks, and I can still see how every, and I can see how everything fits in each day. So I start out with the big rocks in my month view, then I zoom into my my uh, week view, and then I'll zoom into my uh, to my day view, and then I can see what I'm supposed to be doing each day. Now these concepts can be applied. I'm showing you it here in Google Calendar, which I use and which I think is a great tool. It's free. Um, but you could just as easily use these concepts in a, in a physical planner, um, let's say a monthly planner. The key is that you can look at the week view and the month view um, for the planner. So um, those are some ways that you can um, uh, use Google Calendar and use the Big Rocks principle uh, to manage your time uh, and to make sure that things are going smoothly th during your college prep journey. Now. If you want to get really fancy, here are some other things that you can do uh, to really push Google Calendar to its limits um, for your benefit. Uh, so the first thing you can see is that um, some of these events are kind of dimmed out and some of them are not. Um, so basically what Google is doing is if it's a previous event, it's dimmed out. Um, and sometimes if it's a future event, it's not dimmed out. Uh, I, I don't like the way Google handles this, um, so I change it. So I go into the gear um, settings and I go into settings and there's an event called or a setting called event dimming I turn off dim past events and dim recurring future events uh, and I click save and now everything's the same color so just a little easier to read I think um, and I actually take a different approach instead of dimming what I actually do is as I'm going through my calendar as I complete something if it's done I delete it um, so uh, basically uh, it's almost like um, 
whack-a-mole. As, as I go through my day, um, as I complete things, I delete them right from my calendar, and I do love deleting things from my calendar. It gives me a real sense of satisfaction knowing that something is uh, done. Um, and, but it also has another benefit, which is I can look sort of behind me on my calendar, and as I just, let me just uh, delete these last couple things because today is the 16th and I can see that everything behind me is deleted, it's empty, meaning I've done everything that I needed to do, including my big rocks, so I can be even more relaxed and less stressed out. And in fact, what I do is I take this, uh, the big rocks for this week, there's only three days left in the week, um, so I just change the, uh, the dates um, to update it. So now we're going through the, from the 16th through the 18th, click save. Um, and so again, here are the, I've got three days left for my big rocks for this week and everything behind me is deleted. It's beautiful. I know I'm on top of things. Um, another thing that I do is I, I mentioned before that I like to look at the calendar and update it every week. And I do that on Sundays. So what I do is, um, every Sunday, uh, I add a, an event and I call it schedule for next week. Uh, and I'll edit this event. It's not an all day event. I usually do it in the evenings. Uh, let's say around uh, seven o'clock, uh, after you know the weekend's done, and I'm, I can start looking for looking ahead to the following week. Um, I do my schedule for next week, and in fact, that's a uh, that's a recurring appointment. Repeat every Sunday, done, save, and then back. So every Sunday night, I do my schedule for next week. So by the time I wake up Monday morning, I know exactly what it is I need to do Monday and for the rest of the week, and I know what the big rocks are, and I'm really focused. Um, and not stressed out about zillions of things that I'm, you know, wondering if I'm getting to or not. I know exactly what the key things are. Uh, another thing I do is uh, I change the background of the calendar just to give it some more sort of visual flair. Um, and so I've uploaded a, a picture of the desert here with a nice blue sky. Uh, if you want to change that and upload your own image, just go into the gear, go into settings, um, and go down to the bottom, and you can easily change the, the calendar uh, background. Um, last thing I want to show you is, this is actually a really important thing, you know, right now we're looking at it on my computer, on my Mac, uh, but you don't always have your computer with you. Like, for example, when you're in the classroom, you may not have a computer with you. So it's, it'd be great to have this on your mobile device, right, on your Android or on your, on your iPhone. Um, and that's easy to do. So you go into settings, and there's a button that says sync with mobile device. And you click on there, and it gives you instructions on how to sync Google Calendar with your Android device and with your... Uh, with your iOS device. Um, so you can do that so you always have the calendar with you and you can play whack-a-mole and delete events uh, as you go through through the day. Uh, but this is the, the, the technique that I use um, for time management and it's a great technique for students to use uh, while you're on your college prep journey.